Greetings, Avdities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So, recently with the new update coming out, one important thing that they also happen to release are things in regards to the Gem Exchange Center, which is pretty obvious. I can show you right now, which is they release a new limited lava design called the Stock Village Hot Spring, a limited costume for Pond Dino Cookie being called Very First Birthday, a limited costume for Star uh, Star's Flower Smoocher being Birthday Party Guest, a new calendar design for the update, and a new sticker uh, design for the lobby. Or, uh, the you know, the calendar. But with that being said, our main goal is we're going to be buying the lobby, we're going to be checking it out, we're going to buy the costume, and we're going to buy the pet costume using both the sticker set and the new calendar design. And I'm going to be running in Pond Dino Kiki's Trial just to do a comparison of what sh uh, how they run without the costume and how they run with the costume. Because it's it's a pretty adorable costume because it's just a baby dragon costume. So with that being said, there's not much else that we can do. But what I'm going ahead and go do is I'm getting this real quick. And we can go ahead and listen to a uh, music track for it. So uh, what we're, we're actually going to do that first just for a little bit of a teaser. Uh, raise the volume. Stock Village Hot Spring. Okay, it's slow but cheerful. I like it. Okay, okay. All right, so let's go back. Now we need to go over to change, uh, edit lobby, uh, go over to the lobby, scroll all the way down, and also the lobby has a story dis uh, description for it, so I'll let you see it, which says, Since ancient times, folks have gossiped about the magical stock spring lake. They say a dip in its warm broth washes away all worries. Even the red dragon once took a cozy soak here. Well, it's got to be real good if, you can, if the dragon took a cozy soak here. So there we go. Let's just save it right there. And uh, look how this looks. So we'll just go ahead and we'll change the photo mode. And what can we do? Can we tap on the eggs? Oh, look, look, look at them go. <laughs> so apparently when you tap on the eggs, both dragons from the new breakout pop out, swinging in left and right. And a sudden, like, I think that's a baby cabbage pterosaur pops out from the egg and somehow reattaches itself, magically healing the broken egg. And it's fine. How that's possible, I have no clue, but apparently that's just how it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, just for a bit, I'm going to go ahead and swap out Lysi, because Lysi's actually very close to getting max affection. But I'm going to scroll up and put Pond Dino Cookie on the field. And why I want to do that is because now I can go over to the uh, Plumbing Gem Exchange Center, and we're going to go ahead and buy that sweet, adorable costume. Bam. And we're also going to buy ourselves this pet costume, in which, uh, for, first of all, let's go ahead and just buy everything here. You know, the calendar design and the sticker set. I know now we're running low on gems, but it basically has to happen at some point. Uh, we can use our calendar design, change it to this new one, which looks nice and tropical. I mean, look at this. It has uh, all like all the veggies in the background. I see some dragons and a sweet little pen. And we can go back. And now we have a sticker set, which involves starch noodle cookie, flat tofu cookie, and a little baby pterosaur. Which, this is just drillable, so I gotta go ahead. I want to place these. Down. Have I never experimented with the sticker set in the last... Was there even a costume... Maybe the on man, I don't know, but we're just gonna go ahead and put this in the corner, nice and complete. But also, I wanna, no, I wanna change the design. I'm gonna also gonna add these two. Uh, we're uh, we're just gonna place these little fellows somewhere. I wish I could reverse them, but uh, they're just gonna they're, they're just gonna look up at the drag like the dragon up there, just like oh wow, how how very curious. And this guy's just like, oh, where's my life gone to? It's like what what's going on? Just like uh, th there, look look how adorable that looks. <laughs> and he's, he's like, my life is so full of shame. But now I'm going to go over and we're going to go over to, uh, I'm sorry, this new UI is just so weird. Uh, but I go over to cookies and I'm going to put on this costume for you because I want to see how you look in the lobby, which gives a bonus 100 points for forget-me-not jellies, which doesn't seem like much, but still adorable nonetheless. So can I see? There you are. Come on. How does this not look adorable? I know you're already max affection, but come on. Look at this. Can I just see me? Oh, it's so fun. Cookies. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Are these quotes translated? Wait a second. What if we take the costume off? Okay, uh, t take it off. Unless if it's always like that. It might be always like that. No, the, the costume is a translator. The costume is a translator. Okay, that makes it a really cool costume because you can actually understand Pondino Cookie. You can actually understand Pondino. Can you understand it from here? Ma? Kubi. Ma. It's, so it's primarily in the lobby. Okay, so like, what is she? What does she say in the lot? What, what do they say in the lot? I'm curious. Blah blah blah. You're all here to see me. Well, yes. Why are you? All, I, I gotta speak in like baby language. Cookies. <coughs> gotta be more high pitched about, more eccentric. Mm. You're here to see me. So many blessings. It is clapped together. All us together to see her birthday. No, lady. Nothing else. <laughs> Did you see that face? They look depressed. Look. Wait, let me see it again. 
You can't hide that under from me. You have to show me that face again. You can't. Did you see that? They just got hit with salt. Like, not even so. That's just like when you get home from an eight hour shift from work and you just don't want to be there. Please show it to. Can I set it? Can I custom set it? Let me see. I need to custom set you. I just want to see it. Uh, wait. Uh, this? They're, they're the friend. They hate everything right now. This is. This. <laughs> okay, well, what else could I say? But there's that eccentric stuff. Now let's go ahead and run the cookies trial because we're going to test out both of them without the costume and with the costume. They should be reasonably far down, I think. Are they near snake fruit? No, no, no. They would be up here because, uh, hyper. Yeah, there you go. I already have diamond rank and ram rank, so I don't need to worry about it. But as I mentioned, we're going to do one comparison with the costume. But first, we're going to do one without the costume just in case. And uh, I'll just do a quick recap on the skills and story and stuff like that if you're curious about Pond Dino Cookie. So according to her story, it says, uh, was it a coincidence or perhaps a mir uh, miraculous occ occurrence? I'm pretty sure it's, by the way, them. Uh, not she, I'm pretty sure it's them. It's my bad. I think, I don't remember. Uh, but it says, was it a coincidence or perhaps a miraculous occurrence? A mystical egg appeared in the spot where ancient magic ones held sway. The egg hatched and emerged a baby dinosaur cookie. With eyes that glitter like stars, Pond Dino Cookie playfully wags the cookies, putting like tail surveying the world with wonder. When the petals above the cookie's head start to dance and sway, it means something extraordinary is about to happen. Everything is new and intriguing to this baby cookie. Even the dewdrops that cling to the leaves of the jelly gators that swim beneath the water. Pond Dino Cookies ample, uh, ambles through life, eagerly befriending new cookies encountered along the way. The cookies love playing in the water while endlessly chattering away. With each passing day, the cookie is growing up fast. Yeah, the cookies are slowly learning about life around them. And according to the school of this cookie, swims below the lake at certain intervals and collects forget-me-not jellies at, gr at uh, Grant's points. Acquiring spiral jellies that appear at regular intervals allows the cookie to swim faster through a certain area and collect more forget-me-not jellies. The higher the level, the higher the for, uh, points for forget-me-not jellies and spiral jellies. Now, of course, let me quickly talk about their magic candy real quick. Because, uh... You know, these videos are, like, different, so, uh, usually I talk about the magic candy later, but I'll just do it right now. According to the skill of the magic candy, he says, Colorful forget-me-not jellies appear at the bottom of the lake. The stronger the enchanted power, the more points earned for colorful forget-me-not jellies. So, they just be become even more powerful. Now, here comes Starflower Smoocher, which, according to the story of this thing, it says, Are you looking for the most popular resident of the lake? Then look no further than this adorable pet. Starflower Smoocher greets every colorful fish friend with a kiss. Uh, with its gently swaying fins, the pet even creates lovely heart-shaped bubbles. So many of the fish in the lake are always looking forward to being reunited with a beloved friend. Yeah, this fish just shows a lot of love, probably because their their shape perfectly resembles a heart, and they could easily smooch you. And according to the skill, at certain intervals, colorful fish appear and exchange greeting kisses, creating heart bubble jellies. The heart bubble jellies recover the cookie's energy when acquired. The higher the level, the more points for heart bubble jellies, and the more energy recovered. Sorry, I just got a message. I'm not gonna go ahead. I'll check it. I'll check it later. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm, it's only gonna take like a few minutes for me to record this video, hopefully. And uh, I talked about the pet skill, right? Yeah. So the last thing I will mention is the treasure that's associated being the cursed goblet for some reason. I have no idea why the cursed goblet is associated with both popcorn and pond dino. Maybe because it's a drink of sorts. I don't know. But according to the story of this, it says legend goes that this goblet was found in an ancient war. The goblet can be it can grant legendary power, but its master has a pay, has to pay a great price. Maybe it's because it's ancient, and you know, Pond Dino is like a dinosaur in ancient times, I don't know. Uh, but, oh, look at that, level up. And according to the scope of this thing, it says, A lot of extra points for all jellies, but faster energy drain. Level up for, more, for even more points. Okay, seems interesting. Do I have the goblet equipped? Yes. Is a goblet necessary to have? Probably not. But, uh, actually, what, what's the high ranking? It's always a plumbing star treasure. And also, the goblet is equipped, uh, too, so I guess I'll just run like this. We're just gonna primarily run just to test out the cookie in the normal trial, which I'm pretty sure I really like, uh, the vibe of the Are we- wait. Are we running in, uh, hard mode or easy mode? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we're just running in easy mode, but if not, then, uh, whoops. That's my bad. But, anywho, let's go ahead and get this done, which- but- but did you hear that? Hear that cookie's laughter. A giggle, a giggle, hee hee, hoo ha, hee ha. It's just a sweet little giggle. Uh, but honestly, one of the reasons why I really do like Pond Dino Cookie's Trial is for, primarily because of the music. Like, do you hear how relaxing and calming this is? Because, you know, during the story where you have literal dragons fighting each other, dragons turning into true dragons, reverting into their true primal form, and legitimate lores happening where islands are being destroyed, you just have, you know, sometimes you gotta appreciate the birth of life. Because, you know, they were given, you know, life into this world. And, uh, that's one of the things that you have to admit, despite everything being turned to prehistoric time. You know, 
if that didn't happen, we wouldn't have, we would not have gotten Pond Dino Cookie. And I do need to preface this right now. I didn't think that Pond Dino Cookie would get a costume primarily because they were second place in the Cookie of the Year. Because I'm pretty sure first place was a. Uh, who is first? I'm trying to plumbing remember. I'm already forgetting it. Is that wrong of me? It should. It, it, it was one. Was was it a? Uh, no, no. It was Sugar Swan Cookie, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. So I knew Sugar Swan would get a costume, but I didn't think Pond Dino would because it would kind of make it useless. Uh, because like. You know, if she got, you know, I'm sorry, if Pondino got second place, then uh, d does it really matter? Like, if they didn't get first place and they only got second, well, bam, you're still getting a costume regardless. Like, I understand it's not a super epic, like, you know, it's not, you know, the Valentine's lovey-dovey, but whatever. But to be fair, if she did, uh, if, I'm sorry, I keep making that mistake. I, then again, I don't remember. That might be my bad. If Pondino ends up getting, if, let's say in a universe, they did get Cookie of the Year and they got, like, that Valentine's costume. I think it would make more sense for uh, the pet. And by that, I mean Starflower Smoocher, because they're meant to be giving kisses. They're meant to be giving love. But well, Pondino is just like a curious being who probably doesn't even know the concept of what is a hug. Uh, probably. They probably know uh, what sleeping and eating is like, so... Yeah, whatever. Dinosaur Cookie takes good care of them, and you can't judge them for that. They're a good dad. Anyway, I'm just... Uh, honestly, I gotta admit, the costume that they did decide to choose for Pondino, though, is really adorable. It's literally just a pair of pajamas. Which is perfect for a child cookie. Like, a, it's not even a child cookie. This is straight up a baby cookie. Who just deserves all the, like, sweet love in the world. Because they are just, just... They're just the most adorable thing. And there's people who actually don't like this cookie. And I'm just like, how? Like, do you think, like, children are annoying? People have said the same thing with Snapdragon. Which, that's actually how I got, like, a, a more popular short released. It was, like, uh, Dragon Cookies are, like, a new thing. Because they released Snapdragon in Kicker and Kingdom. And now they have Pond Dino in, uh, you know, Kicker and Oven Break. Which, technically, yeah, both aren't drag... I mean... Pa Snapdragon is a dragon, but Pond Dino is just, you know, a dinosaur. But y they're both similar. Both come from, like, more ancient esque times, even if one's, like, more fictional and, like, dinosaurs have proven to exist, I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping, I'm praying they were never fake. Uh, but also, you know, big, scaly, scary, and, you know, what else can I say? I feel like the similarities are at least there. So basically, just put them under the term of uh, ancient. By the way, I think I just got a new high score. Yeah, I apparently did. Maybe it's because of the treasure selection. But you know what? I'll take that up. Oh, I probably could have gotten a little bit higher, but uh, no, that was a little bit of a mess up. But we got Diamond 306 place. Wow. It's actually pretty impressive. Of course, I'd get even better if I had the star treasure leveled up, but of course, I don't have the capability because I'm weak and poor. Even though I bought all those things in the gem exchange. But shh. We don't need to worry about that. I should definitely get my legendary treasure stocked up from the gem exchange center just so I can, like, you know, keep pushing on to that. Speaking of which, we can get a gem reward right here, right now, which is 30 gems. Okay. We, oh, and we can get another one? Uh, okay. A sec. Oh, wait, it's silver. It's, uh, 100 gems. Okay, cool. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and run with the costume, which is Pondano Kiki's very first birthday, which I think you need a little bit of a spit, like a, a little bit of an entry key right there, like separate the lines because that's pretty short. But according to the story of this tr uh, costume, it says, It seems just like yesterday that they were taking their first wobbly steps. But it's already everyone's favorite little dino's first birthday. The area around Lotus Lake was packed with dinosaurs and cookies alike, all to celebrate Pond Dino Kiki's special day, all sharing one wish that Pond Dino Kiki continues to grow up healthy and happy. That's just adorable. I really love that. It's so sweet. And of course, we can't forget about the pet costume for the Starflower Smoocher, which is, uh, the, what, the birthday party guest? Uh, birthday party guest. Why didn't they give this one a space? And I know this one doesn't give, like, you know, a point boost, but it's still nice to have just to match with the costume. But uh, according to the story of this thing, it says, There's no way Starflower Smoocher would miss Pond on Kiki's very first birthday party. It swam to every corner of the Lotus Lake to find the perfect flowers for the occasion. One bloom graces its fin, while the other was granted to the Star Kiki of the party. Surely Pond on Kiki will remember this day long into their Kiki life, won't they? Well, to be fair, when I was a one-year-old, I definitely don't remember my first birthday. I remember more recent birthdays, if anything. But... Yeah, that's just me. Uh, I definitely don't expect to get a high amount of points because uh, my dragon thing is only like level one. So it doesn't matter. So let's just go ahead and get this done. Uh, what that? What did that? Th oh, the thing is uh, resets. Uh, I, I think that was for like the loot that I was getting. Like, you know, when those uh, jelly uh, bear thing popped up and gave me the gems. I'm pretty sure that's what it meant. So, okay. So it resets in a few hours. So that's how you get some daily rewards. You just like go ahead and run and then you get a good amount of points for it. And uh, those are some good starting jumps right there, getting all those jellies. Uh, still don't expect to get a super high score, but 
It doesn't mean I'm not gonna try, but yeah, whatever. Don't exp like I mentioned, like the if you really do want to try and aim for world record, basically you're gonna need a lot of the legendary treasures on your side at like fully maxed level. And we're not even talking about fully maxed, we're talking about like fully enhanced. Then again, for trials, it's actually a good thing, you know, that some of the treasures, you know, are set at level 7. Because that means you only need to level them up so much. Because technically you can still utilize them in like breakout and trophy race and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, that's going to require a lot of hard work or a lot of money spent for packages. And you know what most people most likely will do. And that's spending all that sweet, sweet cash. I was even considering buying the package to get a... Ananas Dragon Cookies uh, costume. Not not costume, uh, the... Uh, what the fuck is it? Magic Candy. Because unfortunately, I was not able to get that Magic Candy in time. And I'm pretty sure I still had some Dragon Eggs left, but it would not have been enough to uh, warrant making a video. But uh, I just kind of have to suck it up Buttercup. Uh, there's really nothing I can control now. But... Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna, like, wither in my grave over it, because there's still the opportunity I still can get the plumbing uh, co uh, magic candy. Why do I keep saying costume? To be fair, I still really want the Ananas and uh, Pattaya Dragon costume. Preferably Pattaya, only because... I Actually, no, I'll, I'll care for both, but I'm pretty sure Pattaya is one, in my personal opinion, it's a little bit more cool, only just because, like, the design of it. And also, I'm sorry, but did they really have to make Pattaya Dragon Cookie's uh, legendary costume, like, bare-chested? Like, you're just gonna make all the Sims just, like, melt for the dragon. Like, I kid you not, and I already know a couple who do sim for the dragon, even without the costume. And that's not a lie either, that's me being honest. Don't worry, my standards are a little bit higher. That's why I keep everything behind closed doors and don't push them onto other people, because, uh... Dude, if I do, I'd probably get killed. <laughs> not even just for killed, like, my interests, just killed for, like, a public opinion, because... You know, when I first joined the Evermore community, a lot of- if, if you had a public opinion about something, like, especially with things that, like, people did not agree with, like, you would get slaughtered. Do I even need to mention, like, how everyone was when Sorbet Shark Cookie released, both either in Oven Break or in Kingdom? They were just going off the rails for the adorable little shark. Like, I'm not even joking. They were just like, if you dare insult the shark, oh, uh, you're screwed. Like, sheesh. I'm pretty sure even- was it Mole who made a me meme video on that? And I think they made a meme video on Discord where it was a uh, it was just text saying Shorebay Shark isn't that cool, and then it was like several people are typing, and in the background was a very condensed version of the uh, trial music for uh, Pond Dino Cookie. No, 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 Pond. So, what the plug? <laughs> for uh, the trial music for Shorebay Shark Cookie. I don't know why I would say Pond Dino. Maybe I'm just thinking about like small little clubs who just don't speak English, and uh, they're aquatic too. I feel like Sorbet Shark and Pondana will get along, though I'm pretty sure Sorbet Shark is. Despite how they look, they're definitely way more mature considering that they've been hanging out with Pirate Cookie a lot. So, whatever. Anyway, with that being said, did we just get a... I, oh, oh no, we're close to the best score. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get another best score. Uh, uh, oh no, I did get a best. Okay, how much higher did I get? I got more than top 300. More than top 300. That's okay in my book. Okay. So I know not much really did change with the costume, but I still wanted to show it off because, come on, look at that costume. Especially with the fact that you can actually, like, understand what Pondino is saying, at the very least, in the lobby. But that's awesome. Anyway, with that being said, I think we're fit to end the video right here, so... Will Kiwi Biker like to pass by again? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker Run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can go ahead and get the Kicker Run YouTube stuff for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Peace Hub. And now I'm getting hiccups, great. Mm. Kill me. Uh, a link to my Discord server called the Hype Peaks Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Peaks.